and welcome to the instructional video on how to use the We Inspire. If you're watching this video you've probably just been sent your We Inspire pack and want to know a little bit more about how to use it or maybe you want to know if the We Inspire is right for you and you just want to see how it works. Either way I hope you enjoy the video. So to begin with we want to open up our We Inspire application and you will find it in the folder with all of your samples. It's important that you leave it in the folder with your samples in as that's how the We Inspire finds all the samples. It's important that you make sure your Bluetooth is on on your laptop or desktop as that's how your laptop will pick up the Wii Remote. To do that you'll generally have a Bluetooth uh, option perhaps at the top of the screen or in your settings. So you'll reach the first screen of the Wii Inspire, which is the Connect screen, and you need to connect up your Wii Remote. Now, to do this, you just need to press the 1 and 2 button together, and press the Connect button. You'll see the blue buttons light up, and then just hit that button, and it should connect. It takes a little while, so don't worry if it doesn't connect straight away. Your Wii Remote may not connect correctly every time, and don't worry about that, sometimes it just happens. It's very simple to sort out. What's happened here is it hasn't quite connected correctly, and you can see this because the graph here is flat, and there's no movement, it does not recognise your movement. Now, all you need to do is just hit the disconnect button in the top right-hand side of the screen, and that will disconnect your Wii. You may also need to go into your Bluetooth options and disconnect this way also, just to make sure that the Wii Remote is no longer connected to your device. Okay, we're now connected and we can see this because the graph is now detecting our movement as we move the Wii Remote. Once you see that graph, you're ready to move on to the next stage. So, all you have to do is click on the genre button here and this will take you to your genre screen. So you have four different genres to pick from, including rock, jazz, hip hop, and ambient sounds. And you also have the option to make your own. I'm going to go through each one of these screens individually, just quickly to show you how they all work. So this is our rock screen. And what you can see here is that it shows you your buttons, and the buttons light up when you press them. Just to let you know that you are hitting them. And here you can see the graph which will show you your movement. So to begin with, the home button always controls the volume on and off. So we'll turn the volume on. Now as you can see, some of our drums are already playing. It tells you which instrument is connected up to which button, so our drums are on A and B. Now the A, B, plus and minus buttons are on and off buttons, so you click them once to turn the sound on, and again to turn the sound off. Whereas the 1, 2 and the arrow buttons, you hold down to get the sound and release off to stop the sound, for instance. Now that our samples are being triggered, what we can do is turn the remote and it goes through an effect. We can then turn it back to make it go through the effect. different genre all you have to do is click the genre button again this will take you back to the same screen and you can simply pick another genre this time this one's jazz again the home button controls the volume on and off and again the a b plus and minus are on and off buttons and the rest you hold
We're going to move on now to the hip hop genre. As you can see, you can leave the samples playing and they will instantly change. And this one is our ambient genre. Having an ambient genre was recommended to me by a speech therapist who I worked closely with whilst building the We Inspire. It has sounds such as water and thunder, we have an alarm clock, siren, we have a car, a horn, laughter and many other different sounds. The speech therapist I worked with recommended ambient sounds as the client can then play the sound and make back the sound. Inspire also has a make your own option and this allows you to completely personalise the We Inspire. So for instance if you were going to perhaps use it in a therapy session you could completely personalise it to a specific client. To use the make your own patch all the files must be in WAV format. You can use a converter which you can get for free online to convert from MP3 to WAV. All the samples must also be 8 bars long. Now to make sure they're 8 bars long, you could use an application such as GarageBand and other music applications which you can get for free online. To open up your sample, click the open button and load in your sample. I'd recommend that you think about which sample you want on which button before you start loading them in, to think about where you want the sound to be and how you want the sound to be controlled. Once you've loaded in all your sounds, you can play this as you would one of the other genres. As you can see, using the We Inspire really is so simple and so easy, and I feel that it could be really beneficial. The professionals that I worked with also felt that there's a real market for the We Inspire, and the best bit is it's free. So if you'd like a copy of the We Inspire, all you have to do is email me contact at nathiggins.co.uk and I will send you through a free copy of the We Inspire 1.0 beta version. All I ask in return is that you complete a feedback form for me, which I will send out two weeks after sending you the We Inspire. This allows me to develop the We Inspire further and make it bigger and better.